It is Saturday, October 26th, and I didn't realize that all of the Halloween parties in New York City were actually today. I thought I was going to be filming this next weekend, so a little bit unanticipated, but I'm going to take you guys through my day, starting with me getting out of my aluminum mesh hellhole that is a Faraday cage. I know some of you guys are nuts, but uh, you know EMF levels in any New York City apartment are incredibly high, and... Throughout most of the day, I'm exposed to pretty high levels, and I notice a huge difference uh, compared to you know sleeping without it. And yes, yeah, sometimes I can sleep without it, but the amount of sleep I get and how restful it is is substantially higher in this. Uh, let me know if you guys uh, want me to show you how I did that. It's I know it's wacko, daco, cracko stuff, but hey, it works for me. Uh, so usually when I wake up, uh, I will hydrate immediately. Uh, here I actually have some Gerol Steiner water by my desk. You know, just a high quality mineral water. And most of the days lately, uh, I haven't been too productive with my schedule. So I end up having to wake up like two or three hours earlier than my posted video time, which is 11 a.m. Uh, film the video, edit it, cut it, and get the video up by 11 a.m. Uh, today I actually did most of the video last night. Uh, so I'm just going to head over uh, to my parents' house. Uh, we're going to taste some cheesecake with my sister, finish that video. Uh, then I'm probably gonna go to the gym, and then we're definitely going down to Manhattan later. My sister really loved that cheesecake. I had a glass of raw goat milk myself. It is a stunningly beautiful day outside. Bright blue sky, perfect temperature, and I'm stuck inside all day editing videos, and then I gotta go to the gym. Uh, so hopefully, some point in the future, this hard work pays off, I can get someone else to help me out with the production stuff and get to enjoy life for once. Uh, so I'm gonna be on my computer for at least, you know, two or three hours. Uh, you know what, maybe I'm actually, I'm gonna go to the gym first. I'm gonna bang that out uh, after I edit the video for today. And then when I get back from the gym, I'm gonna edit tomorrow's video. Uh, it really is a lot of work uh, doing a video every day, but uh, if, if I don't, I just feel like I'm not getting my message out there. And I have so many, guys, I have hundreds and hundreds of videos I want to cover. Uh, just to give you guys some context of what I'm doing from a meal perspective lately, uh, I did eliminate dairy. Uh, today I just had that glass of raw goat's milk because I was tasting the cheesecake with my sister. Uh, but the past week or so, I've been eating fish. And the preparation on my fish has been uh, smoked. So here I have some monkfish tail that I smoked in my grill last night. Uh, what I've been doing is I'll marinate the fish in honey and salt overnight, and then the next day I'll put the monkfish or the salmon, whatever it is, on the grill, and then I'll smoke it for like an hour or two, and then I'll take it out, put it in the fridge, and I'll have it for the next morning. I think I'm actually gonna go to the supermarket later. We're gonna pick up some salmon and some pineapple uh, to try to maybe marinate it, to give me something that's really easy to digest. With this high food volume bodybuilding, I just can't stomach all this food. I'm feeling really sick every day. And uh, hopefully I could stick it out for a couple more months. It's 11 a.m., just uploaded my cheesecake video. I did finish editing the podcast for tomorrow. That is rendering right now on my computer. Uh, I feel absolutely horrible. I had like a bite of that cheesecake and I am just so allergic to cow dairy and my body really doesn't tolerate it well. So we're gonna go to the gym. Hopefully I feel a little bit better in an hour or two because I got a pretty long day ahead of me. Uh, we're also going to stop by uh, the supermarket. Uh, and of course, in a suburban neighborhood, there's never a period of time throughout the day where you're not hearing some landscapers. Uh, I don't have a source for fish right now. So I'm kind of like going to Whole Foods and local supermarkets just to pick and choose you know, some fish that I deem is passable. Uh, but I am working on getting a supplier right now, as well as uh, a better smoker so I can smoke some fish ahead of time. Uh, so we're going to head over to uh, the tanning salon. Then I'm going to go to the gym. And then we're going to go to Whole Foods, which is actually right next to the gym. As you guys can see, the big meat industry is funding my 2004 Ford Taurus. I actually have a dash cam in here because I drive in Manhattan a lot in the front and the back. Pretty ghetto setup. Only costed me about $100. Just a bunch of stuff uh, back here. I used to do a lot of catering work, so this is my setup. I uh, actually, some fish leaked back here. My whole car reeks like fish, so uh, not that I was gonna have some ladies in this car anyway. I can like afford a nicer car, but I'm never gonna buy a nice car driving in Manhattan. 
like, unless I was so rich and had enough money not to give a shit, I'd have to have like tens of millions of dollars to, to buy a nice car in Manhattan. At that point, I wouldn't care, but you know, I, I've gotten into an accident at least two or three times a year when it's not my fault. I always get rear-ended by drunk people on like the West Side Highway at two or three a.m. And you know, I'm not gonna call the cops on the guy and stuff like that, but uh, it, it's just a pain in the ass. That's kind of gross, but okay. I should have brought my EMF meter to test out how much I'm getting blasted in this thing. The main reason I tan is for my complexion, and I am under the belief that the reason my channel blew up was because I started tanning and it changed my appearance so drastically for the positive that people were like, oh, you look so vibrant, you look so healthy. Uh, so I definitely, you know, need the sun, if anything, uh, just, you know, so I don't look as tired all the time. And, you know, if I did sleep a little bit better, I would still look tired because I've had bags under my eyes since I was, uh, you know, a baby. Uh, so now we're going to head over to the gym. And uh, there's actually a farmer's market over here. But, you know, a lot of the farmer's markets in the New York City area are just rip-offs. Yes, yeah, sometimes there's some pretty high-quality stuff. Like, I've seen heirloom grains, uh, some high-quality plant foods. Uh, but the animal foods are usually overpriced. Most of the meat has been frozen for a while. And they don't sell raw dairy. So, usually not worth it. Uh, but if you want, like, any high-quality plant foods, New York City farmer's markets are a decent stop. My parents are only, like, an hour outside of Manhattan. And it's just so nice and quiet and peaceful here. I just, you know, even at night, like if I go to this gym at like eight or nine o'clock, I walk out, it's like dead quiet. I almost feel like I'm in the middle of a forest. But this gym just opened up. I was actually gonna work here last year uh, before my meat business started, before I started making more revenue on YouTube. And ironically, this guy emailed me last night saying, you know, they wanted to reach out to me and talk about a career here. They didn't hire me. So as a personal trainer, I was passed up on the position. And I mean, I probably wouldn't work here because you know the pay isn't high enough compared to what I'm doing now. And hey, maybe I'd get a free gym membership, but it just wouldn't be worth it. I don't think I could actually invest the hours here. Uh, it's a lifetime fitness. There's no other gyms in my area uh, to really work out at. The other one is like completely filthy. You know, my parents were getting sick every day working out there. There's another lifetime that's about 20 minutes from me. This one is 10 minutes from me. Uh, so this saves a lot of time on the commute. But every single time I've been to this gym, it's dead as hell. I'm on here like Friday night last week and I was literally the only person in the entire gym. I felt like I had my own luxury resort to myself. Uh, but there are quite a few people here on uh, Saturday morning at like 11 a.m. So I'm not gonna bring the phone inside to film. Uh, maybe when I start doing future vlogs, and and on some more gym oriented videos i still don't think i'll be allowed to film in here like legitimately maybe i could take some quick shots on my phone i'm going to do my high volume hypertrophy routine probably take about an hour an hour and 15 minutes i will get out of here <laughs> and whole foods is is right over there they're really trying to be lucrative with the the lifetime whole foods bs uh, i bleached my car like five times and it still smells like fish you know, sometimes I walk into a gym and I feel like I'm at a strip club in Queens. Like, a bunch of teenage girls, college girls, they're all half naked. Other times I walk into the gym, it's like a retirement home. Like, I'm the youngest person in there by about 40 years. And the latter was one of those days, but I'm sure what we're doing later tonight is going to change that. My dad actually had to sell his old car because I went down to the fish market once. And I did the same thing. I bought some fish, it leaked in the back, and he couldn't get the smell out of his trunk. But you know, it's not that big of a deal because you know, we generally drive pretty cheap cars in my family, so you know, it's a few thousand dollars, but <laughs> still, uh, I'm not too enthusiastic about how long this smell's gonna last. So it's around one o'clock. We'll see if they have organic pineapples. I doubt it, so we'll have to go for regular. So these are regular. Of course, you want to go organic because you know, less use of herbicides, pesticides, agrochemicals. And these look like they're almost ready. I can probably use these now. So I'll grab, uh, actually grab a couple of these because these will these will be good for like a week or two. And if I'm going to be marinating fish all week, uh, three should be enough to last me like two weeks. 
these shop in a cart or basket rather than your reusable bag. That's because at this Whole Foods they charge people for the bags like 10 cents each. I think it has to do with like the local municipality. Sir, would you like a bag? Would you like to pay for it? All right. So to tell how ripe a pineapple is, you look at the bottom and it's usually gonna be a bit more yellow and orange. And so that's the ripest one they have. And these two look okay. I criticize, uh, I criticize vegans for buying produce across the world. But hey, it's just one pineapple from Costa Rica, boys. It's no big deal. I don't have to get anything else today, but if you guys want to see like a supermarket video, I did one in Whole Foods maybe a couple months ago. We did a carnivore grocery haul in Whole Foods. And I also did one in a local supermarket by me. I think that was probably like seven or eight months ago now. Uh, so I'll link those at the end here maybe, and you guys can check those out. So if you guys were listening to my podcast yesterday on gut microbiome, you might have heard us mention Saccharomyces boulardii. Uh, this is a tropical yeast, and if you guys are having gut issues, you know, tropical plants are very resistant to fungus. Uh, so out of all the probiotics I've researched, this one seems very safe bet. So there's like four or five Whole Foods in the area that I can go between, and then if I go down to Manhattan, it's even more. Uh, it's interesting how you know, sometimes like everyone that works there is miserable and, you know, doesn't even say hello or greet you. And the other times it's like a military base camp. Like they're like, hello, sir. How are you today, sir? It goes to show how big of a difference the management is between these places and, you know, the types of uh, people that they have access to uh, depending on where the store opens. So the salmon here is a bit more expensive than my local supermarket and it doesn't actually look as good. Uh, so I'm not actually going to buy that today because uh, tonight I'm going to a sushi place for dinner and tomorrow I'm either going to fast or I still have you know a bunch of monkfish in the fridge. Uh, so we're not going to do this pineapple marinade today. Uh, so what I'm actually going to end up doing in case you guys are interested in trying it yourselves is I'm going to just put you know maybe equal parts pineapple juice with the salmon it's gonna break down the protein structure into more digestible amino acids. Uh, maybe like a 24 hour marinade overnight. Uh, nothing crazy, nothing complicated. It's 1.30 p.m. I don't think I'm gonna eat anything. I have a bunch of cleaning up to do, a bunch of organizing that I have to catch up on and I gotta get my Halloween costume ready for later and I have to do a live stream. So game plan is gonna be live stream, then we're gonna head down to Manhattan, but I'll check with you guys before I leave. I'm doing a little bit of food prep for my family. Uh, this is a steak I salted from my mother's dinner tonight. Uh, I'm going to slice this up and do a little bit of pepper steak for my sister. Uh, we're going to use some Red Boat fish sauce. I have Coconut Secret Coconut Aminos. And we're going to put a bunch of black pepper in this as well. That's going to be for her dinner for a couple days. You guys think that's enough black pepper? I have a few extra minutes, so I'm actually going to make another graham cracker dough because I'm sure my family is going to plow through that cheesecake and they'll definitely want another. It's a little bit after five o'clock. I'm just heading out now. I'm gonna actually bring my EMF meter down to Manhattan to give you guys an idea of what the levels actually are. And I'll do a little comparison here first. I'll show you guys what the level is by the router in my house. And then we have a frame of reference when we go down to uh, the city. Right by the router, levels are extreme to high. And then as we you know, get away from the router, the levels get lower. So we're at high right now. Now we're at moderate, and now we're down to slight. You know, so if you're about 10 feet away from a router, you're, you know, you're pretty safe, you're pretty good to go. These are actually my favorite boots. These are called Wolverine, a thousand mile, uh, Montgomery style. I spent literally over two years looking for these because they were discontinued, and I finally got them. It's like this light gray boot. It's so classic, it's perfect. I don't know what I expected driving down to Manhattan at 5.30 Saturday night. I'm surprised the traffic isn't worse. Probably gonna take me like an hour and a half, an hour and 45 minutes to get there from the Bronx, so. Frankie boy never learns his lesson. I'm like sitting here in my car thinking, you know what I'd love to do right now? Lay down at home and take a nap. <laughs> but hey, taking a nap does not get uh, views on YouTube. Well, let's see why I was sitting in traffic for about 20 minutes before even getting into Manhattan. It appears as if a vehicle that should not be driving 
on the parkway, is driving on the parkway. I see. Bus broke down. I always used to wonder why I would get headaches driving into Manhattan. And it's because the EMF levels are insane. It's like standing next to a microwave. Just being in my car, driving into Manhattan. Frankie boy, this is what you wanted, man. Hey, you want to go down, have fun in Manhattan on a Saturday night? This is what you wanted. Want to get blasted in your car with EMF radiation? Get a headache sitting in it for an hour and 45 minutes? I'm losing my mind if I'm... I'm already crazy, but... I'm gonna actually be the bad kind of crazy. Total trip length is looking about an hour and 45, an hour and 50 minutes. Last time I was in my car this long, I think I was driving back from the Hamptons. It took me like four hours. We are finally in Manhattan. T minus 10 minutes to destination. T minus 10 minutes, maybe not. Maybe the GPS will add another 45 minutes like it has been so far. This is why they have you play bumper cars as a kid, just in case you have to drive in Manhattan traffic. Just in case. We just got down here, it's about 7 p.m. I did want to check out the EMF levels on the street. I'm assuming they're not gonna be as high as the, uh, I'm assuming they're not gonna be as high as the driving in no they're crazy <laughs> so even just walking down the street even just walking down the street you're getting blasted I'm, I'm curious if like the more expensive Manhattan apartments also have high levels of EMF but if any of you guys are concerned about this it's just a matter of removing yourself from the high levels of exposure at night but th to me this is absolutely crazy it goes to show you know how much of a, an electrical grid is in here you guys want to be in the vlog? You guys know about the, uh, you guys don't know about the key carnivore diet, do you? Carnivore diet? At all? No. no you guys I don't, don't think so. What? You guys are from New York? Um, not, not from. I'm from Miami. Miami. You guys are, uh, Beach. Miami. you guys been in for vacation or something? I live here now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I gotta run, guys. Well, you guys enjoy the rest of your night, all right? All right, bet, bet, bet. Where do I see this video at? Uh, look up Frank Tofano on YouTube. Frank Tufano, T U F A N O, on YouTube. T U F A N O. Yeah. You, you know, pe people always, every single time, man, people always are, are like enthusiastic about, oh, I wanna be on camera, I wanna do this, I wanna do that. But then, like, you step up to the plate, like, you got three strikes, buddy. And those strikes are coming by fast. Three strikes, you're fucking out. That's, that's what I'm good at, like, it. If you need me to be entertaining, I can step up to the plate, but, you know, it's like don't catcall a girl and then expect to like, oh wait, what, she's actually talking to me, now what? You know, that's, that's, how, that's how I feel like it is. But uh, let, me, let me see if I can get to a restaurant, because it's, it's, it's late at 7 p.m. I, hopefully I don't have to wait like half an hour, 45 minutes for a table, because the places I wanted to go to don't take a reservation. Uh, so, just got in the restaurant. Uh, I'll, I'll take some pictures of the sushi and stuff for you guys, but I think I'm just gonna have sashimi and uh, And we'll see how I feel after Got some sashimi Unfortunately, they did not have wild salmon, so uh, Hopefully I don't feel too shitty later and I know one sushi place. I'm not going to again, but uh, we're gonna walk around. I wanna see if we can find any pretty funky guys. You know, I think we were the only people dressed up in that restaurant. Right? That's funny. I'm a happy clown. Miss, Mr. McDonald, what do you have to say about McDonald's denying their partnership with Beyond Meat? With what? They with did? Denying their partnership with I Beyond Meat. I did not Meat. know they this. Partner with Beyond this Meat. is my, actually my first week going plant-based. Oh, really? Yes. Do you wanna be on, do you wanna be on uh, a vlog? Yes, let's fucking sure. do it. Oh yes. A vlog? So, uh, Mr. McDonald, what do you think about McDonald's denying their partnership with Beyond Meat? But you have, I mean, you have the Impossible Whopper at Burger King. You have KFC's Beyond Chicken, right? What do you think about it? I honestly think it's stupid because more people, more the merrier. Might as well get some vegans over. This is my first week actually going plant-based and it's not that hard. What's the reason you went plant-based? 
Um, I am an all-American shot putter. It destroyed oh, wow. my body um, in college. So. I mean, you're in great shape, man. Thank you. Yeah. Um, and just all the inflammation benefits Amazing. from going plant-based, I think it's worth trying. So. You've tried for a week, though. I just started. Oh, on just Tuesday. started. I just Tuesday. watched the new documentary. Um, the Game Changers. Yes, exactly. And I showed it to my dad. I haven't told anyone besides these guys. Yeah. Like, because I'm a personal trainer. And yeah. I've always busted balls on everyone that I know that's vegan. Yeah. Because I'm, I'm known yeah. for, I mean, I'm a bo uh, natural pro bodybuilder. So I'm used to every meal has meat, obviously. What's, what's, what's the WM, what's it called? WMPBF? I'm sorry, the natural I bodybuilder. I am an NGA, NGA. Uh, natural pro and WMBF yeah. natural pro. There's tons of different uh -huh. yeah. federations, but. Um, and most of these guys have been lifting weights for like 15, 20, 25 yeah, years. Yeah. Very. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Okay. But I mean, everyone's mentality is yeah. meat to grow muscle. So mm -hmm. I'm what, seeing what's, what happens. What's the inspiration behind the McDonald's costume? I was, I had no idea what I was going to be this year and I was in bed and it just came to me. <laughs> I, I don't know clue why. But, but you have to like go out and buy the suit and buy the makeup and everything. Everything. Well, I was just going to do the normal suit, but I usually do like, if I'm Harry Potter, I'm sexy Harry Potter. If I'm going to be a you, wrestler, you, I'm a no-shirt wrestler. You're going to be like, you're going to be like tight pants McDonald's. So I was gonna, just going to do normal Ronald McDonald and I found the spandex one. I'm like, obviously this is what I got to do. It's funny. I was, I was checking last night and I was like, oh, I didn't realize all the parties were tonight. So I just had to do my, I just. I actually just dress how I normally do, except I put a gone and gold necklace like I'm That's why I, I took mine off for this. <laughs> you must be Italian. Definitely not the Halloween night I anticipated. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry I couldn't film that much in Manhattan, guys. It was too dark. I didn't really do that much, uh, you know, outside of going to dinner. Uh, so thank you guys for joining me today. Uh, I'll try to do a little bit more on my next vlog. Uh, if you guys could please like the video, subscribe if you haven't, definitely hit that bell icon and share the video. Uh, if you guys do want to support me further, check out Frankie's Free Range Meat. High quality, nutrient dense animal foods at an affordable price. You can also check out Frankie's Naturals for minimal ingredients, minimally processed hygiene and cosmetic products. Maybe Frankie Boy can afford a car that's worth more than $2,000 in the near future.